This building holds just north of 80,000, and they have come out in very good numbers today at FedEx Field in Landover, Maryland. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here, as it'll be the Baltimore Ravens taking on their Beltway rivals, the Washington Commanders. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. And Mahomes going to put it up right away. This one left side caught by Gibson. And the result here, a pickup of eight. Leaves him with two to go on second down. A good safe pass there right off the bat. That's almost a rhythm play. That's what we like to call it. Get them into rhythm early, something safe, something they're confident about, something they feel good. And once that's completed, then you just keep moving from there because the confidence elevates. The first carry for the Memphis man, Antonio Gibson. And he is swallowed up right at the line of scrimmage. He got maybe a half yard at most, but officially they'll be left with a third and two. Well, we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. And he's going to have a commander's first down as they're able to convert by plenty there on third and one. Got to say, I was a little surprised to see him, Charles, come out in the shotgun on third and less than a yard. Yeah, but the way the NFL is nowadays, we hardly ever see anyone really run for it on short yardage. So they're going to throw the football more times than not. That was a nice, easy rhythm throw right there, and they pick up the first down. Mahomes firing complete, and he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. 12 yards is the pickup, and it's good for a Washington first down. Well, we know he can run the football, too, but he's a good pass catcher, and that's been on display here, Charles, on this opening drive. And we certainly have seen the benefits of what he did in the offseason, which was spend more time with wide receivers working on routes, working on cuts, in order to make himself a more complete running back and even more of a threat downfield. We're scoreless after one. Straight ahead, Gibson. And he's going to take this ahead for right around three yards, but no more than that. Second down. Yeah, I don't know if it's exactly a win-win, but if you're on offense, you'll take that kind of a run, all right? It was kind of stacked up, found a little bit of yardage, and frankly, they're pretty close to staying on schedule on offense. The playbook is still open for the coordinator. Here's Mahomes to throw. This a quick slant, and he's got Terry McLaurin. And he's going to be taken down with the first down at the Ravens' 27-yard line. 15 yards there on the catch and run. And he's already got two catches on the opening drive. <laughs> they know he's going to be a handful. And sometimes you game plan for that offensively. You want to make sure that guy touches the ball. And sometimes it just happens naturally. And then you change your game plan. When he has the hot hand, you keep going back to him because he's running routes with confidence as the game goes on. They had their backs up against the wall a little bit, and they come through by forcing an incompletion. Now they've got to continue to ratchet up the intensity a couple of more times and get off the field before giving up any more yardage. Second and 10. Mahomes going to throw. This to McLaurin out on the left side. Washington now going to use the first of their three timeouts as they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. There's a first and 10 at the 14 yard line. Operating from the red zone now, Mahomes. Touchdown, Washington. Mahomes hitting his favorite target, Travis Kelsey, on the touchdown pass. And the Commanders post the first points of the ball game as they take the lead here in this second quarter. 
Well, that drive felt like it took up an eternity, and we finally have some action on the scoreboard. Yeah, but plenty of action prior to, because that drive took up all the first quarter before we spilled into the second, and finally, points were registered. On the other sideline, they're chopping at the bit just to get the football. Joey Sly now to kick off after the touchdown. And this take it in at the goal line. And makes it across the 20 as his guys will set up shop at the 23-yard line. So the hold on special teams backs him up all the way inside the 15 to start. Throwing on first down, it's Jackson. And he's got it past the 30 before he's hit and dropped. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. From the 32 now, here's first and 10. Jackson now. That's for Bateman, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Emmanuel Forbes. And they'll set up shop right near midfield at the 49-yard line. So after the INT, here's Mahomes. Open man, it's the tight end, Kelsey. The commander's going to use the second of their timeouts as the clock will stop with 35 seconds to go in quarter number two. On first and ten, here's Mahomes. Looking for Dotson, and he's got him. And finally, down he goes as they work it inside the ten to the seven. That one goes for 24 yards. Not only have they completed a couple on this drive, but they peeled off some pretty good chunks of yardage, too. Absolutely. Great start. Two nice plays in the pass game. Now can they continue to feed off that? Looking to throw is Mahomes. And he's going to go down. Sacked back at the 13-yard line. Michael Pierce in all of his 340-pound glory gets the sack. So we have reached halftime with a touchdown. That's the difference on the scoreboard. As we'll send you down the coast now to Orlando, that's where we find Jonathan Coachman ready with our EA Sports halftime report. Coach. Just the one touchdown in that first half. 7-0 our score as we get going in quarter number three. And out a little across the 25 to the 27. The Raven offense set at the line for this next drive. Well, Charles, we saw pretty entertaining first half, close ball game. Remember there toward the end of the second quarter, the opposition scored to take the lead. Now we'll see if these guys can get a score of their own to regain that lead. Yeah, they want to have that type of a response, don't they? Because they want to find a way to take control of this ball game one more time. Gauntlet's been thrown down. They want to see if they're ready to answer it. Here's a second and nine now from the 29. From the gun, it's Jackson. That's complete. It's Rashad Bateman. They kept the receiver in the short field, but that let his quarterback get the ball quickly to him before either guy in double coverage could react. Third and five. 
to throw is Jackson. That is caught. And he gets this up across the 35 before he's out of bounds. That his first catch so far. They've held him under wraps, but he's got a first down there. That was a route run, not just with dexterity, but with intelligence. Found the hole in the zone, made sure the quarterback saw him, and was able to make the sure catch and flip the down marker back to one. On first and 10, it's Dobbins. And he can only manage to get a couple. Second and eight coming up. This is what happens sometimes when you abandon the running game. It's hard to get back to it because once guys get out of that mentality of firing out and hitting people, hard to get them started again occasionally. Second down and eight. They'll go again with Dobbins. Nowhere to go that time. He maybe got a yard up to the 40. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play as we play three quarters. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. On third down, Jackson. They set up the screen for Dobbins. And that play went nowhere. Losing yardage, it'll be back at the 36. Oh, I know it goes against the grain here. It totally goes against it, but you've got to drop the ball in that situation. He makes a catch, but he loses yards and doesn't get out of bounds. Got to avoid the flags defensively. Here's fourth and long. Now the Ravens going to use one of their timeouts as they stop it prior to what will be an important fourth down. Here we go. This is fourth down. Here we go. It's Jackson on fourth down. Into the hands of Beckham. And he's going to get out of bounds with the first down. So that's going to double their pleasure for sure. They get the first and save a timeout. They'll start out here with a jet sweep. And good space to operate there as he takes this down inside the 35-yard line. The Ravens going to use the second of their timeouts as they'll get it with just over 90 seconds to go in the ballgame. A look at Washington as they come onto the field. And barring mistakes, they should be able to kneel this one out and finish it off. And there's only one timeout remaining on the defensive side of the ball, so that doesn't really come into play either. Five points of contact necessary at this stage as they'll run on first down. Ravens going to use their third and final timeout as they'll talk things over prior to this upcoming second down play. Give up the middle to Gibson. I like the call there because that was one to take time off the clock and get them closer to getting out of here with a W. In the mind of the play caller, all you want to hear is tick, tick, tick. Here is third and five. They'll run again. And he will have a commander's first down, and that should just about do it. It's a gain of eight there, and that should be enough to seal the victory. Nice job there finding room to maneuver, and he worked his way into another first down. And look, they had great field position to start, but boy, they've done a nice job taking advantage of it. Now they're just hoping to cap it off. Mahomes down to a knee, and that should just about write a finish to this one. So a victory here for the Commanders. And not all Ws are created equal, CD, and this one came in shutout fashion. Well, their offense certainly didn't need to do anything, right? They could take the day off, and they did. 
But the defense, they carried them in a big way. Yeah, look, the offense obviously stuff to work on, but they did enough, and the defense carried the load. But well, you know what they say, it's always fun to work on things if it didn't go well in your game with a victory in your pocket, and that's what they've got going forward. That'll do it for us, for Charles Davis and all our hardworking crew. I'm Brandon Gaughan. You've been watching the NFL on EA Sports. For more, find us on Twitter at EA Madden NFL. The Commanders pick up the victory as we say so long from our nation's capital.